Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be doing a t-test for two samples units, comparing two samples using IBM SPSS 26. For this video, I'm using the same data set that I used for the one sample test, but I added gender variable and divided the gender by male and female, the data set, so we have some age values that present male and the other female. We're going to test whether there's a difference between the age of male and female or whether one is higher than the other, depending on what hypothesis test you're performing. To do the hypothesis test, we're going to go to the same place as we did with the one sample. We're going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, and we're going to choose instead now Independent samples t-test. Here we're going to look for two things. First, the test variable, which is the age. So I'm going to highlight age and drag it or click on this. Then the gender, which is going to be used as the grouping variable. Now this is where you have to define your variables as they are defined in the gender. So I'm going to click on define groups. And for the first one, I'm going to put male, and the other is female. Same words as we have over here. We we'll click on continue, and we're going to check, as we did with the one sample, the options to make sure that we have the right significant digit, a level of significance. So if we want 5% level of significance, you have to enter 95 here as the confidence interval percentage. If you want 2% level of significance, you change this to 98, 1% to 99, and so on. So we want alpha to be 5%, and we're going to click on OK. Now, for t-test of two variables, we're going to get the information. So you can see that we have 16 male and 12 females. The average for each one of them, standard deviation and standard error. And then we're going to have the information that we need for the t-test. Now, the t-test here in SPSS gives us both the equal variances and the unequal variances. So depending on the hypothesis test you're doing, you can decide which value you take. So before that, uh, make sure you look at the standard deviation or do an F-test to determine if you're going to use the equal variances or unequal variances. In both cases, we're going to get t-value for equal and for unequal variances, and we're going to get the significant two-tail test. Same idea here. Be careful with this. This is for two tails, so if your hypothesis test is one tail, if you have less than or greater than, then you have to divide this by two and compare it to alpha. Same idea if P is less than alpha, reject the null hypothesis. If P is greater than alpha, fail to reject the null hypothesis. Or you can look at the T value, whether the equal variances are not equal variances, and see where does it fit in terms of the critical region, does it fall in the rejection area or the fail to reject area? So that's basically how we do an independent t-test in SPS and we can do it for equal or unequal variances. You don't have to define because SPSS gives you both of them. Thank you for watching and look for other videos on how we do other important statistical analysis using SPSS.